The idea of this clip today is to give you a little insight behind the character that you see on your screen. It is the laughing ogre, and also is the invention of a madman. So sit back, relax, folks, and get ready for a little explaining, Lucy, because here comes the laughing ogre! I am Jack's alter ego, invented to entertain you and to provoke the deepest of thoughts. <laughs> hey YouTube, it's so good for everybody to be seeing me today. Thanks Real Me, thanks a lot Real Me, and I'm going to shut this music off right now. Uh, there's going to be some music over top as there always is, but as you know, um, constant viewer, I'm a little different. But because I got some new people coming over to check me out, and I had the pleasure of being on the Honey Badger radio yesterday, and I think some people get lost in the idea of what we do, and I felt nothing but respect from the panel. I hope sincerely that I showed nothing but respect to the, to the, the panel that was there and was so kind to have me on. Uh, that said, I am myself. And before it started, I asked some questions, and uh, they, I did some things up there that I don't do here. Uh, it was also hour eight and nine of live streams for me in 24 hours with very little sleep while I was editing some things up. So I want to answer some questions. You don't see me wearing it today because I have on a different jacket just to be a jackass. But I don't know. Let's start with this. I have this button right here. And yes, I did vote for Donald Trump. But I have it here with a chicken feather. That chicken feather is from one of my prize roosters that got hit by a car and I had to put him down. It was a shame, and I cried when I did it. I put him down in the ditch, and <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. But this is a feather from that chicken. And he was bad to the bone, but he was nothing but a chicken. And I keep that there to remind me that I don't want to see Donald Trump be a chicken hawk now. He had his chance to serve, and he didn't do it. He got out with some kind of bunion on his foot, if I remember correctly, after he was a star athlete at the uh, New York... Um, Oh, what is it? The New York uh, uh, Military Academy. Look into it. It's a very prestigious school. I know a man that went there. I won't say his name, but he is a famous televangelist at this point. Anyway, let me continue. I wear a little pen right here usually. I could get my jacket, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. Look at some of the other videos. It's Moloch. It is a real Moloch. It's the BC. The, the, it is the Bohemian Club Owl. And if, like I said, you can see it there. I wear that there to say I am looking out for the new world order. I don't buy into all the crap that you can see other places. But I got my eye on them and I want them to know that I know who they are. I could be a member of their club, but I choose not to be. I don't want to be. I want to keep my eye on that club and I want to keep my eye on the Builder Burgers and I want to keep my eye on the Council of Foreign Relations and the, all of them. I want to keep my eye on them. Another thing you'll notice is that in my pocket right here, I usually have a silk, a red silk handkerchief. It's because I got my eye on the pizza gators too. I had a chance to speak to a young lady that is very close to me, and you'll know who you are when you see this. I was told by her that some of the things that I said to her, and she knew I wasn't trying to be bad in any way, but these things, because she's not an SJW, I, I'm going to use the word because I don't know a better one these things triggered feelings inside of her and so I cut it out right away I apologize and I changed the way that I addressed this very dear young lady to my heart that said that napkin is there to remind myself and the viewers that I got my eye out for people that would worry about a map on their handkerchief <clears throat> anyway let me continue let me move on the suit I'm a chicken farmer I used to wear a suit I, I traveling salesman I've sold things most of, uh, all my life I've been a salesman of one form or another uh, so I wear this suit as a mockery of pretentiousness as a reminder to myself that I'm only a human being and whereas to quote somebody from the honey badger, let me see if I can do this without laughing my butt off but to quote somebody from the honey badger radio uh, I think he said that I look like a a, lar a large gorilla in a clown suit <laughs> with a funny hat. Thank you so much. You people out there that come to troll me and whatnot, wherever I may go, uh, you don't realize that I am the king of the trolls. That's why I call myself the Laughing Ogre. And it tickles me to no end when people 
do things like that. So I would sincerely like to thank you. So I hope that I've explained somewhat the persona that I'm bringing here to you today. The reason why. I don't want you to take me too seriously, folks. Most of the time, what I'm doing is an utter act. And you would not know me if you met me on the street, if you're judging the me that is me by the me that I present to you here. This me is a concoction that I've created. It's something that I made out of whole cloth. It is a figment of my imagination that is only here because I continue to imagine. That said, people, continue to stay out there. Go check out the Honey, Honey Badger Radio, man. They're, they're really cool people. I don't agree with everything they say. I don't agree with everything anybody says, though. I'm sure they don't agree with everything I say, but what respectful, kind folks. I, I really would encourage everybody to go take a look at them. And y'all know the rest of them. Check them out in the links. I got a lot of plugs I could give, but right now I'm just going to say, hey, remember, folks, be good to your friends. Be good to your family members. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so huge, you'll never be able to forget it. Because constant viewers, dear friends, at a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life and your cause will depart from you. <laughs> hey, I told you, Sydney Rub Diamond. I told you I had my eye out for you. I guarantee you, talking stuff about this 666. They said, Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's the Illuminati himself. He's trying to tell you. He's signaling that guy. Who's that Sydney Rub Diamond? Who is that fella, anyway? Well, I should have quit you, baby. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. Goodbye.